So, hi everyone. Welcome to the first in our December and a final webinar series of the year. Uh, the webinar will be on LCA mastery, and we have the master here uh, on Green Stories approach to metrics that drive fashion forward. Uh, this is the first of uh, four webinars that you're going to have over this week and early next week. So it's a week and a half of webinars, not the week that we had initially planned, but I hope you'll find this very useful and we're going to go through it topic by topic, diving into sustainability, starting with uh, in-depth LCA with Dr. Muthu. So who are we? Well, my name is Akhil. I'm the president and co-founder of Green Story. And what Green Story is, is a product sustainability intelligence platform that is built for fashion companies, and that includes uh, up and down the supply chain. So if you're a retailer or if you're a manufacturer or, or otherwise supplier, Green Story will work with you to help you understand your supply chain, understand your data in depth, help you make the assessments around your environment and even social LCA if possible, and help you act on it uh, by giving you the right data and giving you the right level of guidance to make uh, changes in your supply chain and lead confidently and become a leader in sustainability. We have a wide set of modules that we use uh, for offsetting, for impact measurement, for um, supply chain traceability, uh, and we will be walking you through briefly through that uh, later now, uh, but most importantly, we'll be deep diving on the topic of LCA with Dr. Muthu. So Dr. Kanamuthu, uh, quite a few of you might know him. He's the Chief Sustainability Officer of uh, Green Story, one of the first PhDs in LCA and the first, I believe, in textiles and clothing. Uh, he is pretty much widely regarded as the uh, foremost expert in textile lifecycle assessment. Uh, Green Story by now is an established company and a story that I like to tell is when we started uh, Green Story or had even the idea for it back in 2014-15, uh, the first book we studied was the Handbook of Textile LCA, which was written by Dr. Motu. So uh, we're very proud to have him here with us today. He was previously the head of sustainability at SGT in Hong Kong and the ex head of Environmental Services Division Asia of SCS, the International LCA Consultancy. Uh, he has held many, many positions in his uh, lifetime when it comes to advancing the science of LCA and sustainability in the textile space forward. Uh, quite recently, he is an independent verifier of the EPD system. He is also a committee member of the PCR Apparel Coalition uh, Committee under uh, the European Commission. Uh, Similarly, under the EC, he's also a project member uh, on the PEF Review Committee and approves all databases and data sets for PEF uh, 3.0, especially when it pertains to textiles. Uh, as I mentioned, he's also the author of many influential books, over 170 and counting uh, around sustainability and uh, textiles and LCA, and has published over 130 articles on sustainability. So he has quite a glittering resume, and we're very proud to have him here with us today. So here's the agenda. We're going to walk through an overview of life cycle assessment and a significance of fashion and sustainability. I'm going to uh, talk you through uh, Green Suri's uh, unique approach on simplifying and leveraging uh, LCA data. And of course, uh, we're going to talk about integrating LCA insights into actionable brand strategies. And finally, after all of this is done, we are going to talk about how you scale this up because it's not enough to do two or three LCAs. You need to cover your entire production, and that's what we are going to show you how to do. So let's start off with the basics. Uh, some of you might be familiar with this, but I really want to ensure everybody starts from the same base as to what is LCA. Uh, so life cycle assessment is uh, basically a methodology to understand the flows of a product, the material inputs and outputs that define what the end product is. It's an objective and scientific, scientific way to understand uh, what are the requirements that resulted in that final product that you have and the potential impacts this production and use have had on the environment through every phase of its life cycle. And by every phase, we, uh, we'll talk about it, but you would have heard the terms cradle to gate, cradle to grave, uh, gate to grave and all these other terms. We're going to talk about that, but it's really looking at every single point in the life cycle and understanding the resource use and impacts from that. Uh, the quantifications of this can be done in many different uh, metrics, but you're looking typically uh, the most uh, 
I guess, um, most popular ones, I would say, are energy, water, and chemical usage. Uh, and the metrics that are used the most are water, GHG, and energy. But you also have other metrics such as acidification, eutrophication, uh, ecotoxicity, and other metrics that are used uh, globally. So why do this? Well, the key benefit is really better data. You, you have credible data to justify your environmental claims. Um, you can make better decisions around your supply chain based on the impacts that you're seeing. And that also gives you the insights to make new innovation around sustainability. It's not enough that you're trying to look uh, at making changes towards your supply chain, but you can make it based on real quantitative information. So it's a quantitative basis for your sustainability strategy, especially when it comes to products. And most importantly, if you start doing LCA now, it's going to be imposed more and more, of course, with the legislation coming in. But doing this right now also helps you uh, set yourself up as a leader and stand out as a trustworthy partner for the brands you work with, for your stakeholders, and most importantly, for your consumers. So that's the basis of LCA. And I'm going to walk you through the different types of life cycle analysis that's done uh, very briefly. As I said, there is different points which you can analyze. You can analyze a singular process, so gate to gate, or you can analyze the entirety of the life cycle, which is cradle all the way from raw material extraction to grave, which is end of life and disposal. A gate from an LCA perspective is a technical term which is just putting at any singular point. It's a point at which you want to stop. So for manufacturing, typically, uh, when, when an LCA is done, you're looking at cradle to the manufacturing gate after the factory is done or at the warehouse location. That's it. End of life is consumer use and, and uh, also transportation and how the item is finally disposed of or maybe recycled back into another item. So uh, before we deep dive into uh, the typical standard LCA, which is really going in depth, focused on primary data, let's talk about the new type of LCA that's emerging, that's platform driven LCA. And this is a way companies typically scale up the LCA. So there's a time and place for it, which I will talk through, but it's a hybrid calculation methodology to, to ensure that you get accurate and good enough data in a credible way using a SaaS system like Green Story. Um, how it's typically done is shown in this picture on the right, and it's uh, indicative of the level of data that you want. Typically, companies start off with your own primary data or primary data from their tier one, and then you plug in the gaps with secondary data that's available. You can also use proprietary data that's uh, from uh, our data sets with Green Story data sets to plug in this information. So after the first round, you can go back and keep adding more data in until you get to a point of completion where you're happy with it. So in in Typically, when a company starts using the system on Green Story, they set up goals around how much validated primary data that you that they need, what's the type of secondary data that they want, and what are the kind of materials they're using. So it's a data mapping exercise, and that helps you understand and keep track of your completeness and your accuracy over time. The best part is if you have a good team in place to work with you on this. At Green Story, we have an expert team uh, led by Dr. Muthu, whose expertise can be brought in to ensure the gaps are plugged in in the best way possible. Uh, this also helps increase the data accuracy and reliability. And over time, you can work with your suppliers and train them to put better and better data in. So when is this used? Well, this is used mainly about when it's about scalability. When you want to look at 10,000 SKUs, it's difficult to do one LCA at a time in a linear process. You want a system that can scale up, and that's where it's used. It's also used when this process are fairly standard or well studied. So if you have an in-depth LCA already in place for your uh, custom process or your uh, proprietary processes, and then you want to scale that up across your production, Platform driven LC is great. And also, finally, related to all of that is when you have strong secondary data. Then the system can be used uh, to kind of showcase uh, this impact because you're relying on good data that's already been vetted. So that's about the latest variant on platform driven LCA. And at this point, I will pass this on to Dr. Muthu, who's going to talk about the standard comprehensive LCA. Thank you, Akil. That's amazing. Wonderful. Um, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, wherever you are. So, so happy to uh, e-meet all of you. So I'm going to talk about 
you know, how typically comprehensive LCS are performed, not in the industry from Green Story side. So there is a unique touch from Green Story, how we look at, how we perceive the subject of LCA. You can understand uh, Green Story is, you know, operating in the space for quite some time, and I have been in the space for 15 years. Uh, so we have our own touch of, you know, uh, and we have our own way of approaching the subject of LCA per se. And when it comes to textiles, we master it. And how we look at the subject of LCA, that's what I'm going to present to all of you today. So I will talk to you about the standard LCA, right? You have a secondary data, uh, and and you you have a you already have a, a primary data measured LCA. Then you can just go to the you know platform to scale it up. But what would if you have a new product on Earth? You know, like first uh, first of its kind. You have a new process. Let's say a low impact dye. Uh, let's say a low energy footprint process. There is no primary data. And again, very typically, you don't have the data sets also. What would you do? That's how, you know, this is what I'm going to talk to you about, how we perform conference LCS. So Akil has already taken you all through standard LCA. So which is the most comprehensive assessment? Focus on primary data driven by experts who know the industry quite well, like us, and the methodologies, right? So how we perform this comprehensive LCS is that you know, we have few, not few, we have a lot of criteria which we set as our SOP. First one, we there are two kinds of data. Okay, you have to understand. One is secondary data. So that means you are not getting it measured from your supply chain and you are bringing it back to us to measure your footprints. So that's secondary data. Someone else's data, you use it, you apply it in your system. That's second data, which everyone does it. Take it from me. If you take 100 LCS, performed in a, a, a over a period of time, I would say 80% of the LCS studies are done by secondary data. And you know the credibility when I say second data. So how can I say that someone else's data is, you know, uh, replicable to your system? There are few adjustments, of course. I'm not saying that you can't do that. But what is best is to go with primary data. So you are, you, you, you are a manufacturer in Bangladesh. You get your own factories, you know, uh, inputs outputs within the boundary in which your factory operates. Nothing equal to that. You see what I mean? But in case if you say, Dr. Kanan, I can't really bring everything to you. That's the case. Okay, there are 20 data points. You can't bring all the 20 data points in terms of data, in terms of primary data. Maybe you go give another five, we can, you know, fill it with the second data. That's possible. So primary data to the maximum possible extent first. And this is the challenge. What sort of challenge? One is you have to engineer the data sheet. You have to send it to the you know supplier. Supplier has to understand. They have to fill it. Story is not over. Story just started. Once you fill it, they will have multiple questions, multiple problems. Sir, in in typical textile, you know, like they don't do uh, you know any measurement of energy, water, or anything just for one product, right? You all, you know, who are all uh, uh, live today, uh, you know, you're all uh, you know, watching live. You all know what I'm talking about. You're all industry experts. So you don't get uh, the data per se for a product, per se for a process. You go to a factory in Bangladesh, you go to a factory in India, you go to a factory in Europe, let's say Turkey. They will not produce one product. They'll produce products at scale. So then how to allocate the resources for that particular product? How many products are produced of that sort? So there are thousands of issues rather if not hundreds of issues to be resolved on site, right? That is what we try to do, customization based on the unique attributes and data. So, you know, we are data guys. We, we have been in the field for quite some time with our experience and expertise. We will try to solve these problems. Then what do we do? Once I create the LCA, right? That LCA, the very purpose of LCA is to find out what is the impact, where the impacts lie, how can I reduce it, correct? I have reviewed a lot of LCA reports. If I don't see these three points, I don't even review, I reject it because there is no purpose of, there is no point in having that study at the first place. So, but again, after all this, what is very important is you need to go out to communicate your findings, okay? To do that, your report has to be made in compliant with specific standards. If you want only ISO with different environmental impacts, which Akhil has mentioned, ISO 14040 or 44, 
then you will also wait it for a third party review even though i do i'll see it is better to get it a third party review we get it third party review then we can tell them hey it's bulletproof please go ahead to disclose it to public or your stakeholders then if you have let's say few innovations few innovative measures in the supply chain for example i have listed so far 500 factories few factories will have a small innovation but that will create a huge impact but we need to improve that also in a way thereby it is reflected in the data so we'll try to include that then we will try to get to a bulletproof bulletproof lca which is third party reviewed which is better for a third party review then this can be used anywhere you see what i mean this is how, this is what the process that is constituted and developed by me in green story and that's what we have been following and what is very bonus okay now you can ask there are many companies out there what is so special with you green story so whatever i told you now it's all our own touch how we perceive the subject and if how we solve the problems how we bring back value to your system and also to your company and also whatever we do a standard lca simple lca to a custom lca to a comprehensive lca to a you know like a scaled up lca we make sure we bring value to the system value to the society value to the company and value to everyone you see what i mean that's what is our usp and on top of all what is the bonus is when we do when you do lcs we have our unique platform i don't think uh, anyone else has uh, such a unique platform which has all the attributes catered to the needs of textile and fashion space so once you get this lcs in hand this can be combined with the platform driven lca model that you can scale it up okay this lca will do it with a consulting approach maybe we can do it for let's say 20 products for example then with that 20 you can go to our platform to scale this up okay that's what akil has talked to you about and you know while i'm about to finish at the end akil will still take over he'll he'll, he'll show you about the you know how we scale it up with our platform right so with the right expertise and support what we have you all know us know me know our expertise on the space standard lcs what we do with the comprehensive lca what i told you right with the approach that those that can be plugged into the green story platform thereby you can scale up to even 10000 sqs even million sqs and easily you can calculate the variance and footprints of your new products maybe let me take one or two minutes to explain for example we come to a typical factory in let's say cambodia okay that factory is a denim factory okay to understand the entire factory in terms of its footprints in terms of its boundary we create the basic model with let's say studying five products six products you know a good number of products as a representation so we clearly know where are the inputs where are the outputs what is the energy flow what is the steam flow what is the water flow what all the you know resources required and where the resources are depleted we have a clear understanding with the five to six products which we earmark to measure the lcas in terms of measuring the footprints with that the basic model would be set with our help you can really go to our platform to scale your lcs up this is quite useful for the brands retailers very importantly manufacturers again don't think you know that you know i'm sure you all know about different other platforms today of course i'm not here to give you any commercial pitch you all know that i'm a very scientific technical person and our company is completely quite scientific and technical we can defend this what i'm trying to tell you is that other platforms out there they are all just given with access okay username and password then you need to do on your own ours is not like this ours is a, you know like completely you get a expert support in the platform in every work of your calculation with our platform so you are not left alone you are going to be with us so i have a very big team consists of you know lc experts textile experts led by me with a wonderful company green story and the platform you would be able to get your ascertained goals with lca realized just like that okay that's all we do in terms of comprehensive lcs and how we approach the subject there are other unique points which i will touch upon in the forthcoming slides i can next slide please so when i say comprehensive lc right when we talk to the clients first we try to understand come on okay if someone asks me dr mudu i want to do lca for this this that okay now the very first thing we would like to ask 
few questions. What is the background of your LC? Where you are coming from? Is it the R&D based project? We have done, for example, you know, few brands. Maybe I can. Uh, I cannot name everyone else because of NDAs, but some brands, you know, already we have done it, and, and the, the results are public. For example, we have done a, a material, um, you know, scientific company. So completely, they are material science engineers, and they engineer every single product. So it's first of its kind. There is no such product out, and there is no such. Uh, LCA done for those products. Okay, there are unique fibers. Let's say some fibers like you know fibers made out of milk. Have you heard of it? Fibers made out of seashell. Have you heard of it? Even the fibers are very unique. Then leave leave about LCAs. So they are very unique. People even dare to touch those. And we have done LCAs for that. That's R&D. And again, when we undertake LCA, the very first question I'm going to ask to you tomorrow, you're going to be a client. I wish. Uh, so I lost. What is the regulatory compliance you want to adhere to? Some people say, Dr. Mutu, I don't want all the footprints. Maybe I want to do only carbon footprint. Okay, great. 14067. Maybe I want to club it with my organization footprint. Okay, 14064 plus 67. Or 67, it's only for product. We can just extend the scope to supply chain. 64 plus 67. Then someone says, I want to, you know, end up with EPD. Great. LCA. Then we can get it with the EPDs. Then, as an independent verifier, I'll get it, you know, reviewed. There are a lot of LCAs of that sort. Then someone says, Dr. Mutu, okay, 14040 is fine. And I want to do an in depth analysis. I want to find out what are the low hanging fruits. See, as I told you before, the very purpose of any LCA study is to find out where are the hotspots. How can I reduce, right? So now, today, I, I just calculate the carbon footprint of this t shirt. It comes out with five kilograms of CO2E. Part T-shirt. The story doesn't end that. The story just starts, right? So the story has just started. Now we will tell you, okay, these are the 15 ways. If you work upon, you will be able to reduce it. And they will say, we can't do all this. Maybe we can do five, six, fine. And what is the result of it? And then go further, go further. These kind of in-depth analysis. That is what we try to bring it on board in terms of comprehensive LCS. Next slide, please. And you might ask, OK, Dr. Mutu, great. We want to do in-depth LCS with Green Story. How do you approach the subject? I talked to you about. But what is a typical process? I gave you an overall picture, but how we generally approach the subject. First, if anyone comes to us in terms of a request, first, we set up an initial call. We try to understand what is your product? What is the typ typical supply chain constituted for that product? What are your needs? What your needs are? Why do you want to do this LCA? For no reason, cannot be right. There should be a reason. So we try to understand. Then they will say, yeah, we want this, we want that. Then we advise to them, okay? Think of credit to gate. And you know, you see credit to gate, you heard from Akil. It's very easy, but credit to grade. It comes with consumer use and disposal. The way I use my T-shirt, Akil will not agree to that. The way Akil does it, maybe I'll agree because he's a very uh, responsible user that I do. So maybe we can agree to that. But again, there are a lot of anomalies. There are a lot of disagreements between different consumers, different users. So you can see typical LCS in, in textile and fashion, they stop at you, uh, 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 consumer gate. They don't go further, sorry, factory gate. They don't go further to use and disposal. But our specialty is always credit to grade. We try to you know, extrapolate the whole model. We talk to consumers because Green Store is entire um, you know, a principle. The company is built upon what to, if all my consumers ask, what my impact? So we want to talk to the consumers. We talk to them. Hey, how do you approach this subject? How much times? How, how many times you use this T-shirt? How do you do this disposal of this particular product? We try to bring primary data. Again, I'm saying primary data first. We don't assume. Okay, many else you would have seen this T-shirt is assumed to be used for 50 times. From my PhD days, I want to change that. This doesn't work with textile space. Okay, so we try to. And maybe you can tell that, Dr. Muthu, can you measure the functionality? Sure. I have done a lot of studies on that. You know, I've developed models. If you tell me to ascertain, okay, consumer is saying 50 times. Is it really 50 times? I can't, we can tell you. So that's what we do. Then someone says, I want to stop at EPD. I want to, you know, follow this PCR. Sure. That's the first step. Correct. Second step. I told you, we don't have like many other companies out there. We don't have a common sheet we send to everyone. No. We engineer 
every single data sheet for every single product rather every single client of us we don't just reuse the sheets okay my, my team always engineers under my supervision for every client every product is new unique to us and we engineer a co complete data sheet data collection sheet from which you know the supplier can go to the supply chain get the data then we also set the relevant impact indicators. This is where the core expertise lies. For example, if someone says, okay, energy, water, carbon, just measure it. We don't do that. We tell them, hey, look, stop, stop, stop. For your product, looks like you have to add toxicity because too many chemicals. You have too many adhesives, right? You have too many, let's say, washing, alkyl ethoxylate. You are using too many things. Maybe it's good to really measure toxicity. One for dichlorobenzene equivalence. Better to get it. That's that is where our expertise lies. OK, then I told you already when I give you the sheet, you will be nowhere. We give you the support that to look at for this kind of data. How to get this data? If you have problems, you can really call to my team. We'll be able to help you. Then we will. You know, stay with you, help you with the complete process in terms of data collection. And confirm the data that this is right. Then we include it in our models that includes consumer use and disposal. That's second phase. Third one, go for output analysis. We assess through our model, models, and also our platform, and we do the interpretations. We just tell you, okay, this product is better than that. No, we don't do that. We will tell you why this product is better than that. How can we make this product also better? And what are the ways you can do that? What support you can get it from us? Everything will be very clearly written, including what are the uncertainty within the data? What could be the scenarios? Okay. Today you are using, let's say, wind. What would if you change it to biomass? You are using coal. What would if, sorry, you, you, you are using coal. What would if, if you switch it to biomass? Uh, you are using, let's say, grid energy, uh, grid electricity. What would if you try to replace it to 20% solar? So scenarios and feasibilities. Many people don't touch on feasibilities because of lack of experience and expertise. Given with my experience and expertise on my teams, we try to tell you, hey, look, you have got five options out there. Out of five, you can think of this. That's your feasibility. Then recommendations with practical grounds feasibility and commercial applicability. We try to you know, uh, touch upon all the possible points. Then what is very important is once you do LCS with us, we try to align the whole LCA with up-to-date regulations and standards. You might ask how simple I can introduce me that I sit in a lot of committees, a lot of standards. People check with me. So with that, you know, we know what's happening today. It's going to happen. Okay, down the line. With that, we tell them, hey, yes, maybe you need to be prepared. Okay, so this is going to come better to be prepared. That's what we do. Okay, that's the third step. Set up. Data collection, output and analysis. Next. That is within LC. If I do that, then you know Green Story, Green Story will be perceived as a just ordinary LCA consulting company. We are not. Uh, we are we try to do, we try to support our clients with all the possible ways within LCA and even beyond LCA. What we can help you, support you with beyond LCA. First, we have a suite of services to understand the implications of your business and implement possible sustainable strategies to make the best use of the LCAs, what we have done for you. That's very important. OK, now I've come across 500 LCAs through my team, through myself, maybe minimum 500, more than that. What would if I give you a report? OK, take this. 60 pages report, give you the report. My job is done. Thank you. We don't do that. We don't do that. We we want to be a value addition part. We try to help you with all the possible ways. First, we try to find out where are the differences in footprints, why and how, what, when, how and why. We will try to bring all these answers out there in terms of finding differences in footprints. What is the best product on earth? That's in terms of footprints. Where is your product benchmark? Benchmark with that product. How can you make it better? How can you make you know bring the bridge like the? How can you bridge the gap? Gap 
with closer perspective. We try to bring all these aspects at the first point. Next one. I give you 15 points. Now, uh, sorry, again. Uh, I give you 15 points. You might not have a, a clue what points to work with first, maybe in the order of hierarchy. First three, what time frame? What could be the benefits? Maybe you might require a support in terms of coaching. We try to do that. You want someone to be on site? We can send, I can send my team. They will help you on site to measure, to reassess, to help you with understanding the implications on site. And that would be some scenarios we can do off site. So on site and off site coaching. And when you look at all the 15 points, you can't do all 15 at one go. If I tell you, I'm fooling you. I will not do that. You know this. So we will try to work upon the low hanging fruits first. Then the next set, next set, till you reach a culminating point. Then we'll tell you, hey, stop. Hands up. Almost we've done everything. We are done with everything. Almost we are done with that product. Now we need to really find out. This is the this is the least footprint the product will have. Let's talk about next steps. And with that, we also give you the reduction, you know, roadmap. What you can do to roll out. Maybe for this product and also for the further products. How can we reduce the footprint? How can you be the leader in the space? Then at the culmination point, at the culminating point, if no other choice, then we have to utilize carbon credits to nullify the nullify the effects and make the make the carbon neutral if you want to aim to be at the level of carbon neutral. And very importantly, I don't know whether you heard of this or not, but it is our unique approach and it's our usual approach rather. Uniqueness is our usual uh, way of doing things. Uh, we try to reassess, okay? For example, now we make a LCA and give you the report. We give you 15 points. We give you a span. Maybe we give you a training and coaching to get you completely to, to get you to, to get your thoughts aligned with our recommendations and make sure that we come out with a plan. And then, okay, how to check plan, do check, act cycle, right? How to check that whatever points you have started working on it, how to check whether these points are really doing any wonders or not. We'll do that in terms of reassessments. So we assess the footprint of this t-shirt, five kilograms CO2 now per product. You incorporate five recommendations out of 15 what we are given in six months, and we'll try to reassess. Hey, five years really come down to four. Great. Can we do further four? Then we'll reassess maybe after a year, annual cycle. Oh, great. Now we reduce to two. Five. One success. That's how we try to do everything beyond LCA. So many people think that if you do LCA, story is over. I would say the story begins after you complete LCA. Okay, right. Next slide, please. Data, see, all just take it from me. LCA study is all about one thing, maybe three things. Data, data, data. Okay, all about data. It's primary or secondary, how the data has been acquired, how the data has been utilized, how the data has been transformed. It's all about data. So knowing the importance of data in LCA studies, we have a unique approach, robust approach rather to perceive the subject of data. How we do? As I told you, we, with, we go with primary data first approach, first primary data. Okay, because you understand that is if it, in a study, 80% primary data, that means it's 80% accurate, 80% reliability, 20% second data. So it, it has, you know, like it has a compromised accuracy and reliability score. Okay. Then once you get the primary data, what happens is, as I told you, if you have acted in Bangladesh, I can't tell you that you try to equate or you try to assume that, you know, the factory in India is also, you just try to assume that. You know, this is the factory data from India. You we have to assume that this is for your, your you, you know, your localized parameters. That doesn't work. Bangladesh has its own perimeters, has its own parameters, has its own boundaries. So every factory is unique. So localization using primary data is the best way to do that. But many people don't do that. That's why many LCAs do fail. Next one, sir. Okay, this is what maximum I have done, but I don't have rest of the data, what can I do? But I still don't want to go to second data. I heard from Dr. Muthu in his webinar. I don't want to go with second, second data, what can I do? No worries, we have a validated data sets. We collect proprietary data sets from my InnoS expert team. So we have that data, you can make use of it. 
Again, I would say this doesn't make 200 always. Could be 90%. And 10%, we can use the best possible secondary data sets. And we have a guidance as per standards. And which, which again come from equipment or third party review, peer review studies. We have got access to every possible data on earth. And let me tell you this. Don't think that I'm over boasting. What I'm telling you is truth. You can come and experience the journey with us. Then you will see, you will mark my words. What I'm saying is true. The data sets or the or the or the processes or the products in textiles and fashion space for which we have data, I think I'm very boldly and very confidently I can say no other company in the space has. You can understand this is you know coming from our experience and expertise. Very unique processes, very unique data points, even data sets, credible data sets don't have, but we have our proprietary data sets. I can tell you, I can vouch for it. Okay, then all of our data approach becomes robust due to recognized methods. As I told you, the system uses 14040, R44, R67, all you know, like scientific, industrially acclaimed standards. And the platform which Akil has spoken about and is also going to speak at the end, it's being vetted for critical review through third-party channels maybe in the in the coming months. And whatever we get it right, we also wait for validation review. So for example, when I say validation review, it is not only from our side, also from your side, or vice versa, it's not only from your side, also from our side. So if you say that, Dr. Mudu, my process is completely, you know, like it's, it's, it's a biodegradable product, or it's a completely renewable energy uh, uh, grid, we need proof because it's a client. We will check, we'll make sure that the clients or validated with certificates, invoice, and other proof points. Similarly, when we speak about data points, speak about our platform, they are all vetted. Also, when we have our own data set, this also undergoes a stringent peer review and critical review process. Okay, so everything is very clear, and, and the whole system is being vetted. As I told you, for critical review, someone, not me, someone from the, you know, someone external to the system and green story they come they verify and they assure that everything is in line with the standards everything is compliant with standards that's how we approach the subject next one please right so this is all about lca now let me take further few minutes to talk about what are the other support which you can aim to get from some green story in terms of your supply chain sustainability first one you get the whole primary data, okay? Typically, you fill the data gaps. We assess the data gaps, and then we tell you. That's how it's a, you know, like it's a back and forth process. There is one more process, which to my knowledge, no one does except us, which is a primary data validation on site. That means whatever data you send in, I'll send a member from my team or myself, I'll come. In fact, tomorrow I'll be in few sites just to do the validation. We go check everything. We just stamp. Yes, this is a validated data. It's a validated validated data from a authentic third party, and we issue a certificate and a, a report that this data is authentic. It can be used for anything else. Okay, so we try to do that on-site data validation. Next, Green Story is one of the very fair bodies, and you all know, some of you know, or most of you know, my involvement with HIG. I've been working with HIG since 2011, as early as. 2011 uh, with my involvement as you all know I, I was also in the uh, you know HIG FEM development group uh, so with with my huge involvement in HIG FEM um, we are also one of the very fair bodies and we try to verify HIG FEM for you know general verification for all the environmental points like EMS energy water wastewater air emissions based chemical level one plus chemical level two and three because you know we are we have generalists and chemical specialist verify. We try to verify, get everything through HIG system too, then we bring it to LCA. Many people really don't do that. You know, HIG data has not been utilized to LCA level, but we tend to use HIG data to a system to calculate the footprints through LCA. Next one, please. What else we can do? Most of the cases when you do LCA, as I told you, with footprint, carbon footprint, people are also interested to go for organization level supply chain footprint this is a bit different right and here we go with 14064 
slash GAG protocol. So we again go with the detailed site was data analysis, gap assessment, follow the standard. Then we have audit randomized data, uh, randomized data collection and uh, sorry, complete data collection, randomized audit point and sampling of site data, including on site visits. Then we again, as we do for LCAs, we tailor the data sheets based on sampling and type of site. Then we send the data collection sheet and we try to collect in coordination with the site owners. And we prepare the report. And again, we also wait for, wait for third party verification based on request. And again, we create an annual report which can be compliant with any standard uh, in the space for that matter. Okay, that's what we do for OCF, organization carbon footprint. Next one, please. What more we can do? We can do this many things. Maybe due to want of time, I just go through very important points. Many cases, apart from coaching, we have been requested to do a supplier capacity building in terms of environmental sustainability, chemical management, water management, waste management, energy audit, HIG FEM, what not? Social LCS. I have a PhD in my team who has done social LCS uh, in, for PhD. So we have got people, uh, you know, from from different phases and phases of sustainability. We try to incorporate all of our, uh, you know, pool of experts to bring out the best possible solutions to our clients to improve the supply chain. Process improvement plans. We also help you with traceability. Okay, for recycled materials, for organic materials, for any material on earth. We try to do traceability. Traceability, we don't just do, do it a la carte. We try to do it and we incorporate the results of traceability to the LCA. That's where the trick is. And we try to do that. Then if you want environmental chemical assessments with any standard, we'll be able to do it. And you want training to the factory workers till the CEO level, we'll be able to do that. Again, you want reassessment within the supply chain before you go to the LCA. That is also possible. And we have capabilities to do and perform all these aspects. And this is again not limited to okay, a few aspects I have to mention just for the sake of time. And if you have any specific other requests also, please do reach out to me or us. We'll be very happy to support. Next one, please. Okay, so now you have heard a lot from me in terms of how we approach the subject of custom LCA, comprehensive LCS, or maybe simple LCS with our green stories touch. Once we confirm that with our supply chain sustainability services to augment the LCS with further services and support on site, off site to get the LCS done in a very credible way. And now you've got the basic model set for a typical products. And now your interest is to scale it up to, let's say, 10,000 SKUs or million SKUs or 5,000 products. What can you do? You can't do it with others because there is no platform. So we do have a platform which we have developed. Through our expertise, we deployed all our expertise in terms of SaaS platform, Excel experience, LC expertise. So you get the best out of all these possibilities. The result is the platform, which Akil is going to explain in a very crystal clear way how you can scale this up using our platform. Thank you so much, Dr. Muthu. Really appreciate the explanation and the introduction. So everyone, as Dr. Muthu said, it's really when you're scaling up LCAs, as you'll see from the symbol at the center, it's a it's a hybrid approach. There's the brains of the LCA and our data team that's driving it with the technology that we have developed, which enables you to take the data that you've already uh, taken, add in more inputs and scale it up over time. This is addressing a fundamental issue that exists in the space of LCAs, because if you had to do LCAs, uh, comprehensively every time it would take you years to cover a typical brand's collection with the system that we have uh, we are able to have that depth through the hybrid approach where your custom analyses your in-depth processes are covered by the the knowledge that's brought by the lca team and it can be encoded into the into the green story platform which can bring in product details supplier details uh, and any other information that's that's there and create these libraries for you, which will give you details on templates, on components, on materials, uh, on other information that you might have across your supplier network and put it all in one place. So you can then start putting your products together online. So you're creating these digital twins based on the impact of your uh, products 
into the system and this can also be uh, done in bulk so you can do a bulk uploads of tens of thousands of records or using apis plug it to your plm or erp system so we can take that product information and put it uh, into the green green story platform and then work with you to clean all that up make sure we have the best uh, possible data available and then translate it is of course an interesting thing when i look at it because typically you know uh, the lcs takes months if not years to do uh, something high hyper comprehensive once you're done with that scaling it up can take just take a few months to a year to actually have that entirety of in-depth coverage on your supply chain with this new approach that we have and this is all great from especially from an internal decision making perspective. The better data you have, the better decisions that you can make, but you can do a little bit more with this. And that is the uh, what GreenSource is really known for is the visualization and embedding of that sustainability information across your customer journey. So where you're talking about social media, your sustainability reports, uh, whether you're talking about your shopping cart, uh, you're talking about uh, any kind of loyalty systems or platforms that you have, through our uh, flexible systems and APIs, you can integrate this. And we also go beyond in terms of the offsetting piece as well. So carbon offsets are something that need to be handled very delicately. There is a webinar for that coming up in one week's time. More on that later. But beyond, beyond that, you, you really want to take uh, and understand that for the impacts that you can't reduce, you would probably have to offset it. And we do like uh, tree planting offsetting projects as well as even things like plastic offsets and coming very soon uh, by uh, biodiversity credits. The idea is to provide hyper transparency with this for each and every item that's sold with the Green Story uh, system. It will track it. It will select offset projects that are linked to it and also help you offset it accordingly. And this is all kind of encased in this platform powered by an intelligence of the platform, but also the intelligence of the team so that uh, you're not alone. And why do we do this hybrid approach? Well, typical companies go with a very SaaS heavy system because that's scalable. That's what the investors like, of course. But for us, the output is very important. And one of the things we have noticed, and I'm sure a lot of you here can can relate, we have met billion dollar uh, corporations who have a sustainability team of five. Uh, so we know that you're overwhelmed and we are here to help you. So we have a team that can assess your needs and meet them where they are. So if you want to do this completely by yourself as a SaaS platform, you can do that. Or if you want to do this uh, with Green Story support or completely led by Green Story, we can do that as well. That is a hybrid approach that we uh, we kind of offer through the depth of knowledge and the depth of personnel that we have. So that's it for uh, today's uh, webinar. There's a few more coming up. Before I go into that, I uh, wanted to check if there are any questions that anyone wants to uh, answer, uh, wants to ask. Uh, you can ask them on the chat or there is.